SpaceX is reportedly implementing a significant, previously undisclosed, upgrade to its Starship design, according to leaked documents and video analysis. Details suggest a major shift in the spacecraft's structure, potentially impacting its performance, reusability, and future missions. The information, while not yet officially confirmed by SpaceX, has created a stir within the space industry. The leaked data, which includes schematic diagrams and design specifications, hints at significant changes to the Starship's internal components. These modifications could potentially lead to a dramatic increase in the spacecraft's payload capacity and, critically, its reusability. The documents suggest substantial alterations to the structure and internal systems, including the addition of advanced materials and new propulsion technologies, though specifics remain elusive. While the specifics of the upgrade remain shrouded in secrecy, preliminary analysis indicates a radical departure from previous designs. This raises questions about the rationale behind these changes and whether they were prompted by previous mission failures. This sudden shift could also be a response to evolving mission requirements or internal analyses of previously encountered challenges. Industry experts speculate about the potential implications of this new design. Increased reusability could drastically reduce the cost of future space missions, while higher payload capacity would significantly increase the viability of deep space exploration. The upgrade might also address concerns about structural integrity and thermal protection during re-entry, potentially increasing the safety of future missions. However, the secrecy surrounding this purported upgrade raises concerns about the program's transparency. The lack of official confirmation from SpaceX leaves room for speculation and potential misinterpretation of the leaked information. The lack of clarity could also affect investor confidence and public perception of the program. The implications of this rumored upgrade are substantial, potentially altering the landscape of commercial spaceflight. The ultimate success of the implementation of this upgrade will depend on a thorough evaluation of safety and reliability and a clear communication strategy from SpaceX. The sudden nature of this purported design shift adds another layer of anticipation and uncertainty surrounding the future of the Starship program. SpaceX's Starship program is rapidly accelerating with a successful static fire test of a previously flown Super Heavy booster, marking a major step in reusable launch technology. This marks a significant milestone in the program, and the return of Booster 14 for further testing underlines SpaceX's commitment to continuous development and improvement. The video highlights the rapid pace of construction at both Starbase and Kennedy Space Center, showcasing significant infrastructure upgrades. The recent launch activity also hints at a potential shift in focus towards Starship launches from Florida, adding further momentum to the commercial space race. The video emphasizes the program's impressive pace, signifying a potential leap forward in interplanetary travel. This fast-paced development signals a future where such ambitious missions may become more readily attainable. SpaceX's preparation for Starship Flight 9 is underway, but recent developments suggest potential delays. While initial excitement surrounded the successful static fire test of Booster 14, the subsequent pause in testing for both the booster and the upper stage, Starship 35, raises concerns. The need for further inspections and modifications, combined with an ongoing FAA investigation into prior Starship flights, could push the launch date significantly. This delay underscores the complexity of the Starship program and the rigorous standards required for safe and successful launches. The company's intense focus on thorough testing and resolving any identified issues is evident and underscores the importance of meticulous preparation in complex space missions. The current pause reflects a commitment to safety and reliability, prioritizing a successful launch over a rush timetable. SpaceX's Falcon 9 program continues its impressive streak of successful launches and reusability. The video highlights the impressive statistics, showcasing the program's reliability. The construction of a new Starship launch pad at Starbase is also a key development, signaling a long-term commitment to space exploration. This simultaneous effort to develop both Starship and Falcon 9 demonstrates SpaceX's strategy of building a robust launch capability for various missions. The video underscores SpaceX's ambitious plan to rapidly expand its launch capacity and its clear strategy for diverse applications in space. 
This dual-pronged approach, combining the reliability of Falcon 9 with the ambitious goals of Starship, further cements SpaceX's position as a dominant force in the commercial space industry. A setback in the commercial space sector emerged with the failed launch of ISAR Aerospace's Spectrum rocket. This failure highlights the significant challenges faced by new entrants in the competitive space industry. The video contrasts this setback with SpaceX's ongoing success, emphasizing the complexities and high stakes involved in orbital launches. Despite SpaceX's ambitious plans for human missions, the failure serves as a reminder of the immense technical hurdles and risks in space exploration. The video also touches on political and media spin surrounding SpaceX's ambitions, showing the importance of separating fact from speculation. This segment offers a broader industry perspective, showcasing both the impressive progress and the significant challenges within the commercial spaceflight arena. The contrast between SpaceX's continued success and the setbacks of competitors underscores the demanding nature of orbital launch technology. SpaceX's Starship program is showcasing significant technological advancements. The video highlights crucial upgrades to the Starship design, focusing on enhanced propulsion systems, improved heat shields, and refined manufacturing processes. These improvements underscore the company's commitment to improving reusability, reducing costs, and enabling more frequent launches. The video highlights the ongoing efforts to optimize Starship's performance and reliability. These advancements have implications beyond resupply missions, potentially opening doors to point-to-point -point cargo delivery, and potentially future human missions to the Moon and Mars. The video emphasizes the transformative potential of these technological strides, laying the groundwork for a future where space travel becomes both more efficient and more accessible. These updates suggest substantial progress in various critical components of Starship development. The recent FRAM-2 mission highlighted in the video showcases SpaceX's progress in complex spaceflight operations. The successful execution of a precise polar orbit demonstrates the advanced capabilities of the company's spacecraft and technology. The video emphasizes the challenges involved in such a complex mission, including precise calculations for trajectory, propellant management, and recovery procedures. The mission's success underscores SpaceX's growing expertise in complex orbital maneuvers, laying the groundwork for more intricate and challenging missions in the future. The mission highlights the innovative engineering and the potential for future missions, requiring precise orbital adjustments and sophisticated logistical planning. FRAM-2's achievement is significant for both its technical accomplishment and its demonstration of SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. SpaceX's substantial progress in space infrastructure is a key focus. The video details improvements to launch facilities, including the new launch mount and modifications to the launch tower's capture systems. These upgrades aim to enhance efficiency and safety during launches and booster recovery. The video also showcases ongoing development and testing at the Starbase facility, emphasizing the company's commitment to building a sustainable launch infrastructure. This infrastructure upgrade is vital for the increasingly frequent launches planned as part of SpaceX's broader mission goals. These advancements not only improve efficiency, but also directly support the company's ambitions to expand its capabilities for space exploration and commerce. The enhancements are essential for sustaining their rapid launch cadence and for supporting the increasing demand for space transportation in the coming years. SpaceX's recent activities reveal a commitment to continuous improvement and innovation. The video highlights their ongoing testing and refining of systems, focusing on maximizing the reusability of their spacecraft and engines. This iterative approach, exemplified by the reuse of components in the development of new technologies, is crucial for reducing costs and increasing launch frequency. The improvements cover various systems, from propulsion and heat shields to launch infrastructure. This dedication to refinement demonstrates SpaceX's long-term vision for sustainable spaceflight operations. The video underlines the importance of this iterative approach to development and its crucial role in making space travel more cost-effective and accessible. This ongoing cycle of testing and refinement is a hallmark of their innovative approach. SpaceX Starship boosters could forgo landings entirely, says Elon Musk. SpaceX CEO Elon Musk says that Starship's super-heavy boosters 
could forgo landings entirely, relying instead on a wild crane-based solution to recover the world's largest rocket stage. As previously discussed on Tesla Rati, the Super Heavy Booster, tasked with carrying a approximately 1,400-ton, approximately 300,000-pound Starship around 25% of the way to orbit, will be the largest rocket stage ever built, and by a large margin. Prior to today, December 30th, SpaceX's plan was to more or less recover Super Heavy Boosters in a similar fashion to Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, landing them either far downrange on an ocean-based platform or returning to touchdown as close as possible to the launch pad. Ever since the first iteration of SpaceX's Mars rocket was publicly revealed in 2016, SpaceX and CEO Elon Musk have also maintained a consistent desire to land super heavy boosters directly on top of the launch mount after a great deal of refinement. Launch mount recovery would require unprecedented precision and accuracy and add a new element of risk or a need for extraordinarily sturdy pad hardware. However, the benefits would be equally significant, entirely eliminating the need for expensive recovery assets, time-consuming transport, and even the time it would take to crane super heavy boosters back onto the launch mount from a pad-adjacent landing zone. Instead, Musk says that SpaceX might be able to quite literally catch super heavy in midair, grabbing the booster before it can touch the ground by somehow slotting an elaborate launch tower arm underneath its steel grid fins. Although such a solution sounds about as complex and risky as it gets, it would technically preclude the need for any and all booster recovery infrastructure, even including the leg Super Heavy would otherwise need. While true, catching Super Heavy by its grid fins would likely demand that control services and the structures they attach to be substantially overbuilt, especially if Musk means that the crane arm mechanism would be able to catch anywhere along the deployed fins seven meters length. Even more importantly, it seems extraordinarily unlikely that such a complex and unproven recovery method could be made to work reliably on the first one or several tries, implying that early boosters will still need some kind of rudimentary landing legs. In other words, much like direct-to-launch mount landings, mid-air crane catch recovery is probably not a feature expected to debut on Super Heavy V1.0.